Hi children, welcome to Eclid Learning. So this is the second chapter for grade eight workbook activities. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, there are a separate playlist from grade six onwards uh, for the workbook and for the textbook separately. So if you are a grade eight student, so you have to first go and check the textbook uh, video series. So for that, I have done the chapter two. Uh, there's a separate video for the theory part. So uh, please look into that and then you try these activities by yourself and then come back and watch this uh, video because uh, don't just copy the answers from this video because uh, that's not going to help you in any way. So uh, let's start with the chapter here. Yeah. So chapter two of grade eight, uh, configuring and formatting a computer. So in this one, they have actually given you some um, practical activities how to do these things uh, using a Microsoft Windows 10 operating system. So your operating system may be different, uh, but I will show you uh, these things so you can try out in a similar way uh, you can do these configuration changes. So in the activity 2.1, they're basically uh, changing the time zone, date, time, currency, and the number formats. Uh, so uh, let's see how we are going to do. So I uh, hope you have the textbook with you, right? So I will uh, show how each of these steps can be done, right? So uh, they're basically asking you to uh, open up the uh, start uh, this uh, button, right? And you have to click on control panel under Windows system. So if you select this, uh, you can go up to the down, right? So there we have something called Windows system. And from that, you can see the control panel or you can just type control panel here itself also, same thing. So you go to the control panel, right? And uh, okay. then you select, uh, they're asking in the step two, they're asking you to select uh, date and time thing, right? And then uh, they're asking you to basically change date and time from here, right? And from the calendar, you can change the date. Now, my date is actually correct, so I'm not going to change it. And time also you can change, right? Or you can manually give it, or you can use these arrows as well. And then you have to click OK. OK. Uh, then you can change the time zone also. So you hope you know uh, in this world, we have different kind of time zones. And actually, in Sri Lanka, it is actually UTC plus uh, 5.3 hours. It's from the Greenwich uh, line. So it's Sri Javadarpura uh, time zone. So if this is different, you can select the correct one and uh, change it accordingly. I mean, in my case, it's uh, correctly configured. So I'm not going to change it again. Then you can click OK. So that is how we change the basically date and the time zones. Then you can go for the region, right? Now we are going to change uh, based on the formats, you can change different things here. Right. For example, how you want to show your date, long, short date and long date, how you want to change it. Right. Uh, what is the first day of your week? How you should uh, show the time? So these things, according to your wish, you can basically change it. Right. For example, you can select different date time uh, things. Formats. So here, if you want to start the a week with Monday, you can still do the change. Okay, so then uh, they're asking, uh, basically you have to go for the additional settings, right? And the additional settings, you have uh, numbers, um, currency, time, date, these kind of different formattings. So they are basically asking for the digit grouping, uh, go for this uh, three uh, digit thing, which is already selected. And for the measurement unit, uh, measurement system, you can change up to the metric like this. So I'm not going to change my settings, but yes, you can do it accordingly. Okay. Uh, then finally, you can apply and you can press OK. So that is how we basically change the digital grouping in numbers, uh, some formattings and uh, regarding the date and time formattings. Right? Then you can, uh, again, in this section, you can go for the currency, right? Uh, for example, here they're asking you to change these uh, dollars instead of rupees. Like this. So you can change it accordingly, right? Uh, yeah, I will be reverting it back. But you can change accordingly like that. And you can press OK to change. Right? 
uh, then they're talking about file attributes, right? So for these things, you need to have uh, the admin permission, right? Uh, let me share the screen. So here, for this purpose, you need to log into the computer as an administrator account uh, because these uh, some of these uh, uh, privileges will be only assigned to the administrator. So I will show you how you can check these properties, file properties. Um, so example, in this case, I will go to uh, properties, right? So you can see uh, different things, um, file attributes, the name of the file, what is the file type, where it is saved, right? And what is the file size, right? So all these properties you can identify. And can you see there are two special attributes available, right? For like read-only and hidden, right? So basically, uh, these are there. Uh, then if you select a hidden, then this file will be not seen by anyone. And if you put uh, read-only, uh, it will give permission only to read only, right? You cannot do any editing, right? So these things can be, I uh, just select and you can uh, press OK. So then uh, it will be saved accordingly, right? So read only will be give only access to read, not editing and hidden will hide the file as a hidden file. Uh, remember you can view the hidden files, but uh, yeah, but uh, for some set you can uh, hide it. Right, so both steps, uh, both attributes actually can be activated at the same time. So no worries. So you can select these things accordingly, and you can apply and okay these properties. Right, and uh, sometimes um, you may have forgotten where some files are actually saved. Right, so actually you can uh, find all the files uh, based on the file name, file type. Uh, even the date you saved like that. Uh, so if you, uh, in this scenario, they are giving some steps uh, for you to search some files uh, using the uh, file explorer. So if you want, you can type it here directly, file explorer, right? And Right. So here there's a quick search, right? So you can just uh, type like docs here. So all the docs files uh, will be searched and will be uh, found for me under the, if you type that it in search quick access. So uh, all the docs file will be found for you, right? So remember, uh, some of these practicals, the steps will be a bit different based on your operating system. So don't worry, but uh, you can uh, just Google it if it's so different, if it's very hard to find. Uh, Google it and uh, find out real steps for that. But uh, mostly, uh, it will be very similar uh, way, right? Okay, then we'll uh, go for this activity, right? So if you haven't done this activity, please pause the video, quickly do these questions and then come back and watch the video. So select the most suitable word or words from this box. So here in this box, we have some words like computer, ethernet port, keyboard, PS2, HDMI, driver software, uninstall, VGA, disconnect power supply, restart, hardware defects, main storage, USB, uh, install, software defects, RJ45, application software, and mouse. Right? We'll read the question and see. Common problems faced with the use of computer are, this is very uh, easy question, software defects and hardware defects directly from the textbook. Inactive uh, and are hardware problems. So if the keyboard and mouse are inactive, we consider it as hardware problems. It is essential to when checking cables connected to the computer. So you know if you are working with power related things, please disconnect the power supply. Then only you check the cables, switches, and everything, okay? Then to connect keyboard and mouse, uh, we use port or port can be used. So you know, earlier we used PS2 port, but now we use USB 
port uh, to connect keyboard and mouse. Next one, RJ45 cable is connected to which port of a computer? It's Ethernet port. So RJ45, we basically used for the uh, networking. We connect it to the Ethernet port. Next thing, cables are used to connect a television to a computer. So nowadays we use HDMI cables. The basic solution to most of the problems in the computer is to basically, if you have some if machine is very slow, machine is stuck, or machine is um, performing uh, kind of a uh, little bit weird, restart it and see. But uh, most of the problems will be solved by restarting, but there can be other uh, reasons as well. So you have to do different solutions. Some hardware connected to the computer may be may not function because is not properly installed. So you know in earlier days, but because nowadays mostly uh, new uh, equipments, they can be uh, like just plug and play. But uh, with older versions, we have to install driver software separately and then only that hardware can be used. Like if you're using a printer, you have to install the printer driver software first and then you have to use. But nowadays it's a bit different most of the devices are just plug and play devices, right? And ninth one, lack of space in the blank slows down a computer. So if the main memory, the main storage is having a lack of space, then definitely it will be slowing down the, your computer. Tenth one, to make a computer run more efficiently, it is needed to what? Unnecessary software. You have to uninstall all the unwanted software because don't keep unwanted uh, software because it will consume your uh, space as well. Uh, so it will definitely slow down your computer. Activity 2.4, match the images in the first column with the words in the second column and write the relevant uh, English letter in the blank. So in this first column, we can see a few ports. So you have to find uh, the matching one, for example, DVI port. So DVI port, you have to find the correct picture for this. So if you go for K, so this is the DVI port. Next one. SD card port, right? So these are directly from your textbook. This one, SD card port. Third one, HDMI port. This one, F, F is the HDMI port. ESATA port, it was on top. This one, B, B will be the ESATA port. Then parallel port, it's A, right? This is the parallel port, right? And VGA port, C, C is the VGA port. Uh, micro USB port, that is actually I. And RJ45 Ethernet port, Right, so actually some people call it RJ45 port or Ethernet port boards are okay. Uh, it is actually G. Uh, HD audio port, the colorful one, E, right? And uh, display port, right? Uh, it's H, display port. PS2 port, which we used earlier to connect this mouse and all. So this one, L. USB port, that's the most common one. Uh, which we are, it's very uh, popular port actually. So that is D. Okay. So hope uh, everything is uh, okay, right? Uh, for the this one, actually, you refer your textbook and uh, study these ports first, right? Next one. Select the correct answer from the multiple answers given and underline it. What are the two main problems that you might face when using the computer? They are very easy question. It's not financial language, mathematical hardware, those things. Hardware and software problems. This is directly from the textbook. What is an example for simple hardware problems? So earlier also we learned if the mouse and keyboard is not working, that's a problem. So because operating system is a software problem, takes longer time to start, main memory issues. So these are not actually hardware. We can uh, skip because mouse does not work. That's the main thing and keyboard also not working can be considered here. A computer fails to connect to the network when it has a software problem, hardware problem, computer virus, all three are correct. That is why we go for the answer D, all the faults given below can cause a computer fails to connect to the network. 
you need to check on the power supply to a, a computer when it fails to start in such situation what you need to do first so if there's a problem relating to power you have to first disconnect the power from the main supply right because fixing power cables checking power cables pressing buttons to activate before you do it right you disconnect power supply from the main supply and you check each cable each switch everything is fine then only you uh, uh, switch on the uh, power supply and check uh, switch on the buttons and all right which device of the following cannot be connected to a computer with using a USB port. So hope you know USB port is very popular and we can connect printers, keyboards, mouse, scanners using a USB port. But for the display screen, that's not the case. Uh, for that, you have to need HDMI or VGA ports, right? The most suitable port to connect a television to a computer, that is HDMI, because both the uh, uh, voice and uh, the video both can be transmitted. The port to which the monitor cannot be connected, we discuss this again, it's the USB port, uh, because for the monitor, DVI, VGA, uh, HDMI, all these ports can be used. You cannot open the spreadsheet software up in your computer. The reason may be an active virus corrupted spreadsheet software expiry of the trial period right if it's a proprietary software you know there can be given a trial period uh, so if the trial period is uh, finished then you have to uh, definitely uh, pay for the license and use right so actually all three answers are correct because virus can cause issues uh, spreadsheet software itself is corrupted yeah we cannot open it and if the trial period is expired, then also we cannot open it up. So due to one of these reasons, actually all answers are correct. That's why we go for D. Which of the following device uses the eSATA port? So uh, it is, uh, in textbook also we have this very clearly mentioned, eSATA port is basically used for the external storage devices. In the past, many devices were connected to the computer using a port which was unique to the device. However, with the advancement of the technology, there are modern computers with a common port to which many devices can be connected. And this port is the most popular guy, that is the USB port, uh, because with USB port, you can connect a lot of devices, um, maybe uh, your headsets, keyboards, mouse, wireless things also, you know, there's a small gadget to connect. That is also using the USB printers, scanners, um, yeah, portable hard disks, disks even. You can all connect all these devices into USB port because that is what modern computer will have as a common port rather than having separate kind of ports. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that is actually the end of uh, chapter two. Uh, so hope you learn a lot of things from this video. So uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe and please add a comment if these videos are really good and helping for you. And uh, please share these videos among your friends as well. Yeah, thank you very much.